Welcome back to the channel, friends. My name is Chief Chuan, and you're watching episode two of the Assassin's Creed Valhalla playthrough. Let's go kill some Vikings. Alrighty guys, we're back where we left off. We just got back to our home town, home little village kind of deal, Fornberg. And uh, we have a few things to do here. Let's refresh our memories as to what that is, our quest. So we have to reach the Valka's hut. So that's one thing we gotta do, that's for the visions. And we also have to do this thing called Family Matters. Speak to Gunner the Blacksmith. So, you know what? Let's go speak to Gunner first, just because I'm interested in um, what he has to say um, for some reason. It's not allowing me to look at my stuff again. <laughs> there we go. Show nearby quest. Perfect. Now we got her dialed in. Now where is that? I'm not seeing where the blacksmith is. This is the market kind of deal. Oh boy. Is there no one who will go around with me? This land will never prosper while clan battles. Hmm. Let's just read this while we're in here. <laughs> For nine long nights and painful days, the Allfather hung from the tree, and the end pierced by a spear, he became his own first sacrifice. Uh, that's a little spooky. That's a little spooky. I ain't about that life. Oh, okay. Did not see that. Eivor didn't even flinch. This looks like it's just like a little... Yeah, this is like a little battle camp, eh? Are these boys just training? Seems like that's what's going on over here. I'm having a heck of a time trying to find out where this dang blacksmith is. Sucks to suck, I guess. Joke's on you, it doesn't phase me though, because I'm used to it. I'm used to being the worst. There, that must, that must be the quest icon. Perfect, there's a furnace. I was looking for like... You know how with the blacksmith, obviously he's gonna have a uh, a blast furnace or something going on. You think you'd see smoke? It'd be awesome if smoke was rising from his uh, from his furnace. Welcome back, Gunnar. I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor. Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since well, for some time. I forged this weapon on me. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the helm. And as luck will have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. What an absolute legend. What a gentleman. He's going to give us our first one. He's going to do it for us. What a nice dude. Let's enhance the quality. Why not? Superior bearded axe. If this axe got a beard, I'm into it. I am into it. All right. Beauty. That should do it. Anything else? Let's see what he has to offer. Why not? I don't think we have anything that will allow us. Okay, we can actually upgrade one more thing. We still have one uh, carbon ingot. What should we do? This is cost three, three, three. I don't know if I want to, you know what? Let's not upgrade any of these things because they're just, you know, base item things. They're base items How in the game, you, so. Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. 
You were together how long? Five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunilda? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not the man to settle for less than the finest of anything. That's all for now. Return any time. Gunnar, what a beauty. Five weeks. Five weeks. He's rocking that high school relationship. You gotta respect it. He's torn apart. He's torn apart. I like that he's not gonna settle though. That's some that's some good stuff right there. They must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volka first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Alright, let's do that. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Let's go speak to Valka. Okay, so now we know what we're looking for, correct? I think. <laughs> this must be her place up here with the uh, with the seeing stones kind of deal. Yeah, she's in this hut here. Let's do it. Swain. Oh. No, nope. this is never mind. This is Sven. You worth looking at? You're trying to get tattooed or what? Have a look. Go ahead. You're trying to get some tattoos going on here? I'm alright with this. What do we got? Raven Shadow. Huh. It's kinda of decent. I don't mind that. We'll slap that on. Can change the hair a little bit here. Don't mind if I do. We'll keep them blonde. But uh, the man needs a way bigger beard. Let's be honest. Oh yeah. Looks all right. Looks all right. Good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I think we're good now. Sure. 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 Where is? Valka. There's so many things we have to see and talk to. Jeez. Well, look who it is. Alvis. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor. <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson then? Quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? I don't know what this flight. is. Why not? I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. I don't know if I'm going to like this. It's sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. I'll recall what you taught ere I enter the fray. A fine answer. Perfect rhyme and a lovely cadence to match my line. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I will spit in your face and I will bash in your skull. Not bad, not bad. The rhyme is there, the sound is good, but... Consider that I said you were silly and you told me you would kill me. At times it might be best to remain Oops. on theme. Something to consider. <laughs> Last one. So go then and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes. <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. Your flighting's astounding. You're worthy of praise. 
You swing a fine axe and you turn a good phrase. This guy Thank you, is quick with it. I'll take the lesson to heart. Oh, Alvis. What a gentleman. What an absolute legend. Alright. That was fun. But well, let's get uh, let's get to swinging some axes soon here. Who is this lady? What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? No. Not like waving an axe around, is it? Drinking takes a strong gut. This lady, she's just peddling it, eh? She just wants the people to get slammer jammered. We ain't about that life. We got business to attend to. Where is this lady? Oh my goodness. I'm such a goofball. For some reason, when I was clicking my tab button, it wasn't allowing me to see the mission. And then sometimes it just works out of the blue. So I'm sitting here trying to figure out where this HUD is, and just I just wanted the prompt. <laughs> and now I've got it. it. Took me long enough, though. Jeez, how annoying. I'm assuming... Oh yeah, she's out of town here. So we gotta hop on a little horsey boy. This is a good looking horse. It's a beautiful... Oh, okay, let's not ride him into the into the rocks. <laughs> it's a good looking horse, though. Jeez. Man, this game is just absolutely stunning. Very impressed. Valka, quite a ways out. She must be like um, like an oracle kind of person from like the movie 300. Yeah, she's way up. Way up, way up. Look at that view, though. Wow. So cool. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my goodness, I cannot control this horse. <laughs> okay. Probably hop off this sucker. I honestly have no idea how to dismount this horse. Hmm. Nope, that's not it. There we go. Hold C. Perfect. And I think I called in a second horse because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, this is quite hot. Hush. I need silence to hear the song of some nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of safety. She gives thanks, and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now, let us speak to your needs. I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears and then a figure a gray beard in a cloak with a single eye he bid me follow him ah, the 
kind one. He calls to you. Perhaps he needs to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your humor and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. Oh boy. Oh boy. If you seek true understanding. Oh, she made it for you, bud. Bottoms up. See what see what happens. I saw nothing, Valka. Felt nothing. Javi. Javi. I walk among the dead. Ah, so this is part of the dream. Sigurd. Brother, when did you arrive? What a rude guy, eh? Just walks away. Sigurd, I'm talking to you, Home Slice. We're in quite the blizzard here as well. Looks like the winter where I'm from. This? Dang, what is going on here? There's some weird stuff going on here, dude. Huh. Weird. I know the candles aren't blowing out, eh? A little wolf boy hanging out too. The snow sound is just super realistic. Snow only makes that sound when it's super cold. Dang, is that a lopped off arm? Oof. Sigurd! What is, what has happened? This was not for you, Harvey. That was ghetto. Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. Gods, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. The wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolf kissed, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition or your fear. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. 
They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. Let's hope I was choosing the correct answers, but I think you have to choose all of them at some point, so. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint. Hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No! This is wrong! Oh, you misunderstand! That cannot be right! You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate! It can be done! He's making some points. He's making some solid points. Alright, let's get back down to the town there. Let's take this horse now. Let's take my horse. Get out of the way, boys. Pretty sweet that you can do this auto follow feature. It's pretty nice. The horse will will just follow this road. I don't have to do anything. Makes me look less ridiculous when I'm riding the horse into the sides of mountains and stuff. <laughs> Makes me look like I'm actually good at what I'm doing. Pretty neat feature though, because then you can really just enjoy the the landscape. Which I think is intelligent. They put so much time into it. You may as well, right? It's absolutely incredible. Although the Assassin's Creed games have never really disappointed. Not in my mind, anyways. But I wouldn't call myself somebody who knows, you know, a ton about gaming. I just enjoy my time and hope you're enjoying yours as well. That guy, every time, he just steps right out in the way. Alright, we're here. Perfect. We now know how to dismount a horse, so that helps. Let's go see what the king has to say. Lots of cinematics in this game. That's it, It's not annoying, but it seems like a bit much, because I just want to get into battle. Now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. But, let's be honest. It's a good story so far. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stilvior. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do 
we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Ooh. Spitting fire. Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Eric. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go. Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. Oh boy. Sigurd has come. Oh good. <laughs> That's better. I'm glad it's secret. I thought we were gonna have to, you know, get into it again. Go fight the big boy with the large arms. Good talk with the king, good talk. Hey, hey careful with that one. Look at Sigurd's getup. He's looking classy. Sigurd! <laughs> ah, oh, look at you, blood-soaked drinker. Oh, have you been worried without me? Oh, and you, salt-cured Vikinger. I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. <laughs> it's just a start. Brandvi, my dear wife. Your husband returns. Bringing gifts. And riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basil and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation, and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. You're standing safely beside him. He must like you. Ah, Eivor. Those look like assassins to me. until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. Some Viking Templars. With a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kyrtle's men. They must have cut the tale short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that, your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kyrtle from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you, by the winter's end, the name Kyrtle the Crew will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. Oh, a little flighting going on here. A little flighting flex. My son, welcome home. Uh, father. Tonight, we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, Father, we will talk of Kyrtle and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. You kind of got to wonder how the king, Stebjorn, was not the killed. Westland, we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went. Shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past Whoa. oceans of sand, 
warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned, with riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horde, for this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. Well, we best be going. I'm not gonna lie to you. There is a lot of cutscene. It's wild. It's all very well done, but to be honest, I really want to just get into the game. I mean, I guess I don't have to watch them all, but it is a playthrough. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You have snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. <laughs> to my first night in Thornburg in over two winters, it must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringle. Now drink. Oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> oh, you would put Thor to shame. Forgive me. On your first day back, I should have let you win. <laughs> Gods, you should have let me start. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basin, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. Here we go, here we go. Brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. Now, I gift one of these secrets to you. Weapon for the finest warrior I know. There we go. This is where it begins. Beautiful craftsmanship. What kind of smith makes a weapon like this? It is less a weapon than a tool. One we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred tool. You do tool. not make a fetish out of cold metal, Heidmar. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm to conceal it from your target. Dang, I have no here we go. Hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to a good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside, this is not something for all eyes. Lead on. Dang, here we go. Here we go. A little bit of some assassins training, it seems like we've uh, we've got ourselves into. This clan of yours, it has a name? Indeed. But among the tenants of our fleet is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more. Not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look Classic. forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Oh, 
Oh, this guy. Okay, my bad. <laughs> I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. A decent attempt. <laughs> Take that one down from the ledge. Oh. Here we go, here we go. From the ledge, shoot. So we go here. Up. Uh, So sick. So sick. How about a chalice? Leave down upon that target from above. The best kinds of assassinations in the game. So clean, especially the double ones. I love those. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. Exactly, just like that. It's like I've done this my whole life. Oh. To Go to sleep. Not that I am aware. the blade. Surely we have more Python. Hush. You wield the blade well. Let me able to enjoy his gift in peace. So sick. Come. Eivor, let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. They have learning to. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world, all of which I will share with you when the time is right. There we go. Miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Ivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, Wolf Kist. Keep it up. <laughs> From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures. Ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, Classic. We make new war on Kyrte and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there, we build a kingdom for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest and return here at first light. You got it. Let's get it. Let's get some questing going on here. I mean, I'm pumped we have the Hidden Blade. I actually wasn't sure when that was going to come in. To be honest, I kind of forgot about it. I was too infatuated with the Viking weapons, but this is really neat. I like how they brought that in. You will betray no, this is wrong. That cannot be right. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. You will betray Sigurd. Shit, Kjotvis warriors. Yes, let's get it. Here we go. This is our first test of the hidden blade, isn't it? Assassinate prompt. No, I didn't. Not today, son. Not today. I love it. What a sweet transition. 
This is exactly what we needed. The video was getting very boring very quickly. <laughs> so I'm glad we could do this. Okay, so, you know what? What's it, what is it, V? There we go. This is what we need. Where are... Okay, so, it seems like that's an area we need to go. Where are the rest of this guy's spies? Seems like it's just that way, hey? Alright, well, let's head up there. Let's head up there. Doesn't seem like we need to stealth, obviously, as we are not the ones in the wrong territory. Am I going the right way? Let's hope so. You know what? I think it's this way. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Where are these dang spies? They're not in the main hall, are they? Okay, so I was going the exact opposite way as to where I needed to go. As per Chief Chowan's usual. Nothing's ever done right the first time. Guess I should just follow the in-game prompts, eh? Classic, classic male not wanting to follow the instructions. Be my eyes, Sudan. Good. We are headed the right way. Perfect. Stealthy take down opponents one at a time can be the best course of actions. Reveal no right enemies using Odin's sight when in proximity in a hidden space. Attract them with a whistle. This guy didn't hear the battle going on over there. Just a full tilt beat down. Wasn't even trying to be quiet. And this guy's just like, alright. What do we got here? Got a little, little note. Tell me what you see and how many ships, warriors, supplies. Also, note visits from Jarls and other important people. Learn what you can and report back to me directly. Oops, wrong button. Perfect. Let's get back to Sigurd. And tell him what's going on. Ooh, a little slide action. Well, that's the next best thing if you can't go sledding. Where is our boy Seagret? Oof. Did I just hurt that man real bad? <laughs> I just just stomped on him. Oops. Here we go. To storm fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God save all. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kyotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting breeds. We must answer this insult. They came from Northfall, that whaling village under Kyotve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kyotve learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. 
I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you. But this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Bastim seems like a really cool guy. He seems like a, seems like an absolute unit. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. Here we go. Let's get it. We hop on the boat, boys. We are. We're going on a boat ride. We're going on a trip on our favorite Viking ship, rowing let's through the here. sea, little Vikings. All right, let's get it. There's just all of a sudden like ten dudes in the boat. Like, what's up, dude? We're waiting for you. I'm so pumped about this. Let's get it. That was that was a really clean way to kind of pick the game's cadence up in terms of in terms of uh, getting the story moving a little faster and with with the battling and stuff. But I. the gods for aid for they will be deaf to his cries and soon the raven clan will feast on his dead you I, know these isles oh, here we go. Kissed. lead us to victory I will show the way but you must lead us there oh hey Ward. I missed having you at my side how I wish I could have taken you along let's make sure my Let's make sure we're heading in the right direction. Yep, we're going perfect. You have no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable. Oh, we're closing in quick. We're about to shed some blood. Oh, time. Mostly just been watching a movie. Literally 30 minutes of just pretty well just cutscenes. Not that they were bad. It's just I kind of want to get in control of this and get some get some pillaging going so this is awesome I love that you have to travel too I think it's a really neat deal trying to oh missed don't do it don't do it oof it's the worst I do not really want to take my first death <laughs> right here but it, it may happen oh thank goodness we had some rations I forgot that was a thing I honestly thought we were going to take our first L there Oof. Yes, finally some arrows. They're shooting at me. Well, that's Basim. <laughs> Probably shouldn't fight him, but that guy could absolutely slap me. Oh, this is that little guy that was was in the uh Shit. Have to repair that. Oof. I lit myself on fire? That's kinda stupid. 
Oof. Get that guy in the dome. Oof, this guy's just swinging wild. Do we not have any health stuff? Dang. Is that the, is that the mission? Uh oh. This might have been a, a plan by the, uh, by the looks of it. Reach Seagut. Okay, let's go. Need some more arrows again, I think, don't we? Yeah, we're out again. Wow. Small stacks, small caches, eh? Don't really get a, you know, you don't have like a 40 arrow quiver. Oh, are these guys not bad? Are these... Huh. That'd be nice. I mean, I'm down with whatever, though. You reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Yester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. His his beardlessness scares me. Warriors so far south. You may ask him yourself, my lord. Oh. Thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan. Is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harold. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you. At the request of your father. The canny wolf? Ooh. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your raven clan can take Kurtbe's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The wandering king will tip our fortunes. Why risk your men to help us, king? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Ketwe's clan and your own has long centered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There will be no hmm. peace while Ketwe lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harold. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Ketwe broke an oath to our fathers. Betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kurtwe and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Wow. What a unit. Our men will gather at Flor, near the mouth of the fjord northeastern. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kjotve's head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjotve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Heck yeah. Basim, not much to say. Pretty, Eivor, pretty quiet on this one. Harald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He is either a young fool or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. Let's hope so. It is a little sketchy. That uh, the king doesn't seem like he's into the battling himself. He seems like more of a diplomat, aka deceptively wise. <laughs> All right, well.
Well, you know what, guys? I'm going to leave it there. That is 55 minutes of mostly, <laughs> mostly cutscenes. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, next time, it sounds like we're going to be killing uh, Kyotve, which is sweet. I'm excited to do that. That's going to be fun. I'm pumped we got our uh, our hidden, hidden blade. That's also sweet. Uh, the story progressed quite aggressively, which is awesome. And uh, it seems like kind of after all this is is uh, ironed out here, we're probably going to have a lot more more just straight gameplay. So um, pretty pumped about that. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Glad to have you here. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.